hi guys welcome back to my channel this is a wig i made on the sewing machine with four bundles and a frontal from kendra's boutique i will be showing you how i achieved this gorgeous wine color from 1b hair and my client did install this wig which you'll see at the end so just keep watching so today we're using the l'oreal high color in red and magenta i did get four boxes but you will need six to be on the safe side depending on how many bundles you have then you want to get some gloves large enough for your hands, a mixing bowl for your color, and I use 40 volume developer, but you can use 30 volume. Get some aluminum foil. So you want a nice hair coloring brush, but you also want a brush that you'll be able to brush the hair, the color through the hair. And I'm going to use the Mane and Tail shampoo and conditioner. It is moisturizing and the ISO Plus neutralizing shampoo. Get you a spray bottle with water and a spatula, not a spatula, a whisk for your color as well. Today I am working with Kendra's Boutique Hair. My client got four bundles and a frontal. I will link below the exact curl pattern. And this is the frontal. It isn't transparent, but it is still pretty light brown. So it could still match with lighter skin and it is very thin, a very good quality lace. So yeah, the hair was nice, it was bouncy. My client did get 26 inch, 24, a 22, and a 20. You'll see the longest here. That's the longest bundle. It is true to length when straight. So I'm just going to take that color, and what I do is I cut the end versus open it from the top. I just think that's easier for me to get everything out. So I added both the red and magenta. I use equal portions um, for each time. That's why I only do two at a time. So I do want those two in there and I'm going in and getting the rest out of that top part of the tube now. And I'm adding my developer. You do not want this color to be too thick. For one, it is extremely thick, but you don't want it to be thick because you do want it to seep through the hair. So I'm just going to keep mixing and mixing and adding more developer in until I get the consistency that I want. I did basically use one box of color per bundle because it is four bundles and I needed four boxes, but I did have to go back and purchase two more boxes for the frontal. So yeah, just make sure you have enough. And it is at Sally's. That's where I got the color and the developer and all of that good stuff. Trying to get that perfect consistency going so that it can seep to the other side. Now I did wet the hair and I'm detangling it now. That was the purpose of the spray bottle. You don't want to detangle curly hair before wetting it. And I did lose a clip, but I'm just going to start from the bottom. Make sure you're working the color really good in. It will seep to the other side, but you still will have to flip it over to get the other side colored well. But yeah, just make sure it's really in there. Every strand needs to be colored. And with me wetting the hair, it does help me um, move the color around versus if it was dry, you would need way more product to put on the hair. So you do want to make sure you really work that color in. You want all of it colored. You don't want to miss any spots, any little dark spots at all. So please just cover it all and I'm flipping it over to the other side it did get to the other side but I'm just going to make sure it still got every strand and I'm brushing the color through to make sure and we're just going to add some more throughout the entire back of the bundle all over again the same step you did for the front I massaged that in and now it's time to put it in aluminum foil You do want to make sure it's on completely one side of the foil so that you can flip it over and have a nice little, you know, flip over aluminum foil, whatever. And I just kind of make sure it's not too much air getting in. I do want it to process. That foil is going to help speed it up. And it has been about 45 minutes, so I'm just checking on the bundles right now. And this is what it looks like. Not too bad. You can see it's coming in. You see the color is definitely coming in. It's not black anymore. So I let it sit for a good 10-15 minutes and it's almost ready. Oh yeah, I did finish the other bundles off camera, but it's literally the same process. 
and here she is wet the color is a lot darker when wet so please be aware of that I'm just going to wash out that color with ISO plus neutralizing shampoo to make sure all the chemicals are out I let the color sit in the aluminum foil for about an hour also and yeah I don't have to repeat this process at all so now I'm just going to comb everything out detangle it wash it make sure it's really clean I'm going to use the mane and tail shampoo the same as the conditioner just for further clean and make sure everything's out and squeaky clean and then we're going to put some conditioner from that same mane and tail to make it soft rinse everything out and as you can see those curls are amazing they literally popped right back like amazing beautifully we didn't put any bleach or anything like that so we didn't have to stretch out the curls the developer was just enough and the curls are still there and this is it dry I did put a little blow dry on it to get that color I just wanted to show you that it's not that color when it's wet it definitely gets brighter so moving on to the frontal you do want to wet the frontal as well and detangle it I honestly wouldn't be me if I didn't lose footage at this point but you're just going to take section by section small pieces and we're going to use a rat tail comb, a small tube comb to kind of comb in that color and you want to make sure it's on each side like whatever, whenever you part it, put it on each side so when you flip it over the color will also be on the back part that you just flipped over. Just take your time and I do start at the roots first my lace is definitely protected and I will be showing a video on how to really protect your lace like super super good but yeah so even if you do see me put color on the lace itself it's not going to really stain it I'm still going to have a real scalp look sis so after I comb that color in, I am going to go back in with the hair color brush and just make sure I have all of the strands color and you do want to do this light handed you don't want it to be on your lace even though I did protect my lace you still don't want to get it too much on the lace once I have one side of those roots color I'm gonna go ahead and brush it through to color the ends of the hair of the frontal just because I do want an even color and this is already processing so let me go ahead and put the color at the bottom Make sure you brush and detangle it through so you are getting every strand. Just work everything in. Take your time. You see the other half haven't even been touched yet. So yeah, just make sure that one side is processing at the same time. And this is both of the sides colored. I did run out of aluminum foil, so I wasn't able to really speed up the process so I just went ahead and made my wig on the sewing machine because I do add the frontal last. Look at that color. That's not even all the way dry. So if you can tell, I do have some dark pieces still left in that frontal because like I said, the aluminum foil didn't help me speed it up. And I think it just helps it process better. So I'm just sectioning off the frontal and coloring everywhere it's still dark at. Which granted, it's still burgundy, but I still want it a little bit brighter. We're just going to brush all of that through. I'm not putting it too much on the roots because the roots did lift. My client was outside, so I went ahead and started plucking while the color was still in. But as you can see, you can still see that scalp. No red lace, and boom, here we go. This is the beautiful wig with four bundles and a frontal from Kendra's Boutique for my baby Dior. Thank you for your patience, Dior. The curls are still there. This is wet and semi-dry but still wet and it probably will get a lot bigger. All of my client's information will be in the description box below. Be sure to follow her social media. Let me know how this works for you. Thank you for watching till the end and thank you Dior for letting me use your pictures. Please subscribe for more.